Okay, what we want to do is we want to take the derivative of this function here, 4x squared plus 9 quantity raised to the third power. The way we do this is what we call the chain rule, and I'll explain it as we go along here. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to treat this whole entire quantity here with the exception of that power. You want to treat that whole quantity as an x. Okay? Play like we're, we're doing x to the third power. Okay? We're taking the derivative of x to the third power, which would be 3x squared, right? So, well, uh, just a side note here. This is right 3x squared. Okay, it's going to look something simple, similar to this, but obvi obviously it's going to be, there's a little more to it. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of this whole entire function. So, it's basically the same way, but only watch this. I'm going to bring that 3 down, and I will not mess with this 4x squared plus 9 yet, but I'm going to put it there anyway. Alright? Decrease your power by 1. Okay, so now we got 3 times the quantity 4x squared plus 9, quantity squared. Now what I'm going to do is you see this inside function right here, 4x squared, ignore that power. 4x squared plus 9, take this whole entire thing times that derivative, which is 8x. Alright, so our final answer is 24 x quantity 4x squared plus 9 quantity squared. There's your answer. Right there.